Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for the Megan Thee Stallion case, but this video is not about that. This video is about Mr. Armand Wiggins going the entire heck off on this reporter here, Megan Cuniff. Let's talk about it. So for the past couple days, the trial of Tory Lanez has finally, finally, finally come to a close with this whole sentencing. And I'm honestly very happy because I'm over it. I'm just, I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm, I'm just over it. But the blogs are getting the news from the trial, from the reporters in the room. And the main reporter they're getting their information from is Miss Megan Cuniff, okay? On the neighborhood talk, you have numerous posts. Megan here, 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 and here, okay? So they've been posting her a lot. And Armand Wiggins does not like it whatsoever. He did a series of Instagram posts that I have screenshotted because now they are deleted. I was doing the research for this video on my iPhone, right? As I'm getting ready to do this video on my computer, I pull up Armand Wiggins' Instagram and it is totally gone the Megan Cuniff post. But I go back to my phone, honey, and my phone is still on our mom Wiggins profile with the deleted Instagram post because it has not refreshed yet. And bitch, I got all the motherfucking screenshots. Oh, let's dissect it. So the first post he made is a screenshot from the neighborhood talk using Megan Cuniff's coverage of the Tory Lanez case. And if you notice, there's two slides. In the second slide, Armand screenshots a message that Megan sent him saying, We should do a live together previewing Lane's sentencing. And Armand Wiggins captioned this. Imagine getting me kicked out of the courtroom because you wanted to be the one doing numbers while live streaming during the case. I thought you were a journalist. Guess she got tired of tweeting, but then had the audacity to ask me to do a live with her before the sentencing to grow her channel. Baby, uh-uh. You got enough black people giving you the sauce. Last thing I'ma do is give you my sauce so they can't credit you for it. Oh, Armand got so bad over Megan Cuted making a shady comment about his outfit choice at a courtroom, saying how this YouTube blogger put on an epic fashion show. Ever since then, Armand Wiggins has been salty about that. Later on in the courtroom session, Armand Wiggins and I think some other creator, they get banned from the courtroom. And somehow Armand is blaming Megan Cuniff for him getting kicked out and banned from the courtroom. He then posts a screenshot of a tweet he made and he says, Honestly, I'm not even upset in Cuniff. I'm more disappointed in my people. She knew we were doing the work. That's how she got inspired. It was black people acting as if we weren't. Mm. Armand captions the screenshot with this. Shit, we were doing from the beginning of the trial. She has now been inspired by starting a whole YouTube channel. Asked me to help grow it. Yes, she getting recognized for a style we introduced. Meanwhile, we were downplayed and laughed at as if we were jokes. Okay, Armand, 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 Armand. Do you really think that you're the only blogger, YouTuber, gossip columnist that has ever covered a celebrity trial? Like, let's be for real. This is common, honey. This is public domain. These are two very famous people, Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, okay? Mainstream journalist outlets, New York Times, LA Times, all that shit, they're reporting on this case. It's not like you were the only person that had the idea to go cover the Tory Lanez case. Like, the fuck? Like, that is delusional. Armand then posts a screenshot of another DM thread. This is from January 11th. Okay, so you're pulling up shit from a long ass time ago, and he conveniently scratches out a lot of shit, but he leaves the message that Megan Cuniff said, I def respect what you do, and I'm interested in learning more about how you do it. And then Armand Wiggin captions, The same woman that everyone respects is in my DM, wanting to learn from me. Yet my peers and fellow blacks tried to downplay or ignore a lot of the work I put into this covering the case. Shit is really crazy. And yes, I'm pressed. And I'm gagging this lady had me put out the courtroom because I was doing something different that she wanted to infiltrate. Girl, what? Oh my God. Like, okay, I'm sorry. Even though I'm a YouTuber, a lot of us YouTubers, especially when they get to a high level, they be getting a little delusional. Like, bro, you are a YouTuber. You're not a journalist. Like, you're not a journalist. Megan Cuniff is an actual journalist. And like, you're saying that she's like copying your work and doing like shit like that. It's like, I'm sorry, are you actually typing down 
all the details of the case and literally having to give it to an editor so they can print it to press the next morning or the next hour on a site? Do you have deadlines? No, you work on your own time, which is great, but you're not a news organization. You're not an editorial board. You're not a journalist. It's the delusions for me. And if anything, Arbad, you should be thankful that this real journalist is trying to work with you. See, if you have played your cards right, this could have been a beneficial thing for you to be more recognized in what is seen as more legitimate, respected media. But you fumbled this bag and made another enemy. By the way, this is Megan Cuniff's YouTube channel that Armand is claiming that she stole the whole concept from him or whatever she said. As if everybody doesn't have the capability to start a YouTube channel. You, Armand Wiggins, do not own YouTube channels. Like, I just, like, Armand, you're literally, like, delusional. And see, she has 2.59K subscribers. She's growing. And if you look at her videos, her videos with the most views, they tend to be the Tory Lanez case. Um, and that's to be expected because this was how the consciousness became aware of Megan Cuniff, particularly the black urban blogs, because this is a black urban hot topic. These we're dealing with rappers, you know what I'm saying? And it just happens to be a white reporter that works for a certified newspaper. That is not culture vulturing. That is not profiting off the black culture. That is her doing her job. So it's just so stupid. Megan Cuna, she even said this in one of the videos. She basically said, I ain't pressed about y'all. Y'all are not on the forefront of my mind. I have a real 925 job. I have deadlines. I ain't concerned about y'all YouTubers. She is not concerned about YouTubers. And she tried to include you in the shit. If she was trying to jack your shit, she, she would have never tried to reach out to you. Armand, you are doing the absolute most and you're reaching. Sit the entire fuck down. I still love you though.